This script is an example of number guessing game. We have a place a guess function that gets the answer and then reads a guess from the player. The player has to input a number. If the player inputs something else, then it's going to lead to value error. The problem is that the try block contains many lines of code. And actually most of those lines don't really raise any error. It's basically only this first line that potentially raises the error. It's better to keep try block small so you're really focused on handling the specific error that you're looking for. What you can do here is move the try block out of the place a guess function and create a read int function that handles potential exceptions as well. So let's call this function read int, and this is simply going to return the integer value like so. So now we have very specific error handling. We're only looking at this line of code for handling the error. And the place a guess function becomes much shorter and easier to read.